the exponential model a, so I'm going to write it out, a equals 55.4 e to the 0.012 t describes the population a of a country in millions t years after 2003. Okay, so this is the population of the country t years after 2003. It says, use the model to determine when the population of the country will be 71 million. Okay, so this is the population of the country, this whole thing, A, which is also this thing here. Right? This thing I'm circling, this is the population also. So we want the population to be 71 million. So all we have to do is set this whole thing equal to 71 and solve for T. So 55.4 E to the 0.012 T, that has to be equal to 71. Okay, we have to isolate the E, so we'll divide by 55.4, divide by 55.4, these cancel, so we have E to the 0.012 T equals this number here. I'm going to leave it like that, so 71 over 55.4. So we're looking for T, but T is in the exponent, it's up here. So we need to get rid of the E. So what we'll do is we'll take the ln on both sides. So I'll put an ln here, and I'll put an ln here. And then these cancel, and you get 0.012 T. That's that, that's that formula, right? If you have ln E to the X, this is X. This is super useful, right? Like, they always cancel when you get X. This is equal to ln of 71 over 55. Point four. Then you divide by 0 0.012, divide by 0 0.012, so t is equal to ln 71 over 55.4 over 0 0.012. Okay, uh, I'm going to put this in the calculator. I think I have it up. Let me see. Yes, yes I do. Good stuff. So it's ln... 71 divided by 55.4. My handwriting is so small I can't read it. 55.4 <laughs> and then divided by 0 0.012. Okay, that looks that looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So it says round to the nearest year, so 21. So T is 21. Is that the answer? No, I don't think so. So T is 21 years. But we want to know what year it will be. Well, this tells you the population T years after 2003. So I think we have to add the 21 to the 2003. So when we do that, we should get 2024. So let's go ahead and type that in. Hoorah, got it right. Hope that made sense.